We need to start a rant. We need to. Warframe's gone kid friendly. There's pixies in the game now. Well, actually, there's been pixies. I just now got Titania, though. That's a thing. It's gotten too kid friendly. It's gotten kid friendly. We need to do something to make this non kid friendly. I mean, look. We can make enemies float in the air. Kid friendly. So what could I do to make this non-kid friendly? Punch enemy souls out literally and collect them? Will, will that work? We're so okay. But, uh, I mean, I guess that's something non-pixie. Throw on titanium's augments and now I shoot 20 billion times faster? That could work. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I know one. Making an enemy float through the air. But. Then. Shoot. Kaboo! They all dead. He did. Uh, that's totally not kid friendly in any way, shape, or form. Bizarre! Oh, I know one, I know one. Pushing enemies off the map super far. Then they fall and die. Yeah, I still don't know what that is that's stealing 300 damage. Is it just something about her first ability that I don't know about? Oh gosh. Is that my butterflies? Punch the soul out of you. Aw, oh, darn it. That didn't do anything. Boring. Look at that. That's literally an enemy soul. When I say it's literally an enemy soul. Like, look. Tribute. Extract an offering from an enemy and form that random in form of a random ability buff. Survivor's attacks are weakened. Uh, and it actually isn't a random buff. Since these guys are heavier units, they're going to give me an ability where everybody will slow down. Uh, or like all the, uh, it's, like look at the buff in the top right. I have 10% out of 25. You gain 5% for that one. Usually, it's just, usually you get 10% per, but. From the lighter units, you get this ability called Dust, uh, and there's like a lot of lighter units on the battleground, so like, yeah. And Dust reduces the enemy's um, accuracy, so if I were to go, wait. Alright, I'm just gonna punch the soul out of a ton of butchers, right? And pause them. So the small form. If you didn't know the small form, her fourth, it also reduces the uh, accuracy, the enemy accuracy. So some does on the butchers. Wait, why isn't this? Wait, is this the wrong enemy type? Ah, oh, fudge. That's thorns. Oh, okay, but butchers were thorns, my bad. Oh, and plus they don't have accuracy, I'm stupid. Alright, so, corrupted crewmen. 
I'm actually going to turn invincibility on for this part. You have like over a minute with this thing, so like... Uh, dust, there we go. And you can't punch the enemy's souls out more than one time. Just like synthesizing a target they've already fully synthesized. So now we have 40. Dust 50, which you can't go over 50 in here, just to show you. Look, dust 50 still. Now, if I go uninvincible, and I go small, which will reduce the enemy accuracy by another 50%, you can, like, basically never get shot. Wow. My build shreds these guys. I'm mean, sure the Diwata isn't doing that much damage. Diwata. But it's good for just teleporting. You see how I was in danger and I just teleports that guy? Oh yeah, you can't teleport apparently to enemies in the air. Yeet, yacht, be gone, thought. Ow. So, I do have a Razor Wing Augment on, just so you guys know that. So, here's a normal flight to be normal fire rate, blah, blah, blah. You know, guys, boring. Okay, not actually. It's actually kind of fun. When I first used it, it was so much fun. So, now look how fast I go. Full speed. And full fire rate. And if you have some arcane velocities on, you're good. You want to keep that up, though. Keep your spell bind up. But she doesn't have to be spellbinds, but the only reason why I wouldn't really recommend her augment is because you to be honest, you really need uh what's it called? We got the uh the mod is called Fleeting Expertise because her abilities take quite a lot even with that uh she mine on. So if you throw on Fleeting Expertise, at least rank 4 would work, then they would cost like 6 energy. But you can still shred enemies regardless. Now... The game has gotten too kid friendly. I still think that Titania is kid friendly. And ignore the whole Gara thing here. I had some friends to some lacrim earlier. What? I, I don't speak English. But, uh, uh, I invited them over and they joined and he brought Gara. He destroyed us, except for me, because I was flying around. We teamed. <laughs> He teamed on this one guy who was just being a toxic Valkyr. Then I went immortal. I'm not going to show you guys how to do the immortal glitch, but ah, I did it. Come at me, mates. You're going to die. You're going to die. Wait, can I? I need to see this. Can I make these guys fly? No, I can't.
Oh, he destroyed me when I got up close. So, that's gonna have to wrap it up for the simulacrum part. He. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna see. Can I snipe these guys? Okay, well. We're gonna go into an actual game of as Titania. Let's see if she is worth getting. I have not gone in the, uh, into an actual game yet as Titania. Say whatever you want about my colors. I don't want to hear it. I'm going to do Solo, Earth, Plains of Eidolon. <sighs> Cause I wanna see what use her four would have in the plates. What in no use compared to Arcwings, Dargons. Dargons are faster than Arcwings actually. But at full speed, her four could be useful, but she would have to go around and pick up like a ton of energy. Luckily, I have a 25% inc uh, increase on the bullet jumps. Very mobility, uh, mobile, mobile dies. Yep, that's right. That's a word. I don't speak, I'm not speaking English today. I'm going to speak Spanish. So, callate. Or shut up, but. English, you know, man. I do not speak it. Alright. I don't know if you guys know this, you should know this, but the one problem that I have with this uh, augment is energy. All right. Garon's The Plains of Eidolon, very good. Very good. Luckily in the Plains of Eidolon, there's always energy around in these things. Yeah, that's Croctrel. Oh, okay. My uh, Pixie already ran out. get to that waypoint immediately you guys ready you guys ready <clears throat> let's do this fast as boy so fast as boy actually not yet okay now I'm fast Oh yeah, I forgot. You can't be in. You can't be in pixie form. All right, now there's not really any point on using my augment. Boy, do you wanna? Are you sure you wanna do that, Dargan? I mean, if you want. All right, just punch the soul out of you. How do you feel? Ooh, that doesn't, oh, that did so much damage. What do I mean? Yeah. 
get destroyed, kid. I hate it when people say that, like, get destroyed, kid. You're so trash. Get out of this game. You're not good enough to play Fortnite. Probably the most annoying thing about Titania is the energy consent. Whoa, whoa, I was just. Okay, I was just blown up. But it's the amount of energy she consumes, it's insane. Like you have to use your first ability four times, you have to use your last ability once, there you go, you can fly around, so, but the energy consumption, that's a lot of energy per second. I mean, three energy a second, don't get me wrong, it's better than some characters. Cough, cough, Banshee, cough, cough, Mesa. But... Uh, just okay that that was the first time that a uh what's it called ah wait i'm titania If you guys don't know what I mean, my first ability, the one that floats enemies in the air, uh, which, uh, well, it, I, it can also uh, get rid of uh, any status proc, so that's why I went in Tenno to, like, not take that status proc on my Warframe, but... Instead, all I gotta do is use my first ability. Are you right? See the scariest thing of your life, enemy? This is the scariest thing of your life. I'm probably gonna buy floating expertise unranked. If I can even get enough plat, man, I only have two plat. <laughs> Wait, I was just looking at that.
All right. He did. Okay, fine. If you want to do this, let's have a dog fight then. Let's have a dog fight, mate. Come on. Let's go. Let's have a dog fight. I won. I won pretty brutally because I'm a brutal pixie that can eat the souls of her enemies and devour them into bits and pieces. Okay, that part's an Anaros part, but still. Okay, you and I have a dog fight too, huh? Where are you? Where are you, mate? Come on. Guess I won, because I don't need those things. Alright, now we're going to use that, 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 and that. So is the augment necessary? No. The augment is not necessary. Because look how much energy I just consumed right there. If you run Fleeting Expertise on your build, Augment, very necessary in my opinion. Because like I said, it only takes like six energy to cast your first ability. Five if you have a max, but six will do. Only uh, put it rank four because you're gonna need a little bit more duration, but. Uh, so. Later I'm in the day, I'm gonna get like a little bit of plat for my friend and buy a fleeting expertise cause I really need one. Prime flow would also be very well. That's actually the one thing you really need. You don't really even need, uh, yeah. As long as you have 300 energy when you consume your ability, then you're good, you're not consumed, but. As long as you have to enter an energy when you uh, use your augment, you're good. I'm pulling shotting these turrets. So just to prove that even an arcing launcher is faster. Boom. But Titania's augment is way faster at max, I can tell you that. This is slow. But if I had the Itzal then huge different story I never ever use the arc wings I have mine rank 21 You call this an arc wing? Wow, it's also a cheeky way to uh, achieve your achievements.
Let's see. Yep. From from on high. What? That does not make any sense, game. But okay. Whatever you want your achievements to be called, game. Oh no! I got the energy. I was hoping that there would be some, and I wouldn't collect it. Whoops. Didn't mean to use that, but whatever. Alright. Now it's time to see how fast I can fly back to Cetus at full speed. Full speed. Full speed ahead. Who remembers that from, uh, Whoa, whoa, you go so fast. Well, wait, I could probably go so fast I could just fly back to the other side of the map, then fly back. Oh, yep, yeah, nope, I can't do that, great. I just oofed up. Yep. Give me energy. Knock, knock. Your mom roasted 10 out of 10 roast. Oh. Now my market's gone. All right, so the higher you are, the more flight speed you get. Nice to know. Wow, see, this is a literally over there when I place the waypoint on see this. Wait, I'm gonna try something. But can I fly in there as Tiny Titania? Hey, that's a new nickname. Tiny Titania. Oh no, it just takes you out of her uh, tiny form. All right, now let's go have to wrap it up for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on the augment with Titania herself I rushed Titania and it wasn't a good idea I don't think it was worth rushing but I think it was worth getting I mean I also have a catalyst on her or reactor but I also got Brober on Prime, so like I have a lot of new Warframes that I still haven't made a video on. Made a v half review on Hero already, so I don't really want to do a video on him. I got Valkyrie like two weeks ago. I still haven't reviewed her. Got Brober on, haven't reviewed him. Uh. And now Titania. It, it's a lot of Warframes. Okay, guys. It's just, I don't get how I get these Warframes all the time. And it somehow works out. It just. Like, when I got Hero, literally, like, a couple of minutes afterward. Okay, not minutes, but a couple of hours afterward. I got Valkyr. It's just. Uh, why? Just why? I didn't know who to pick. Now I don't know who to pick between Oberon and Titania. When I get one character, I get two characters. That's how it is. So, that's got to wrap it up for the video. If you didn't, make sure to leave a like and see ya in the next one.